Where to sleep paralysis story? I'll start. Wake up looking at ceiling. Can't move. Grudge looking as baby comes in. Starts dancing on my chest. I just this exact word. I may be dead, but at least I have dental insurance. Start laughing. He laughs with me. Kisses me on the nose. See you again, buttercup. Wakes up with my pants covered in semen. Be me. 26 year old KHV loser. Meet this cutie girl online and eventually start exchanging messages every day. Meet her IRL after two weeks of talking and everything goes smooth as hell despite my autism. Get back to my house and she keeps being super interested in me. We literally talk eight hours a day, every day of the week. About even the most stupid shit. Fast forward six months. She still does this and started waking up with phone calls. Starts calling me at work too to see how I'm doing. Starting to wear on me that I have to spend a third of my day talking to her now. Bros, I thought women were supposed to become uninterested after you in a month. Did you all lie to me? I'm scared for my life now if I ever decide to leave her. Be me. Nine years old. Play Minecraft, scared of Herobrine, but I like the game, so I play anyway. Need the shit really bad, but I'm taking diamonds back to my base from mining and need to store them first. Store diamonds and then go take a shit. Fast forward to present day. Get drunk, but I sneeze. Shit myself. Let loose the biggest burp. Hear neighbors from hallway. He did burp. My face swam. I am dating a social justice warrior cutie and turning into a filthy normie. Be me. 24. Upset Trump lost. Go for a walk. Thursday. Starts thinking about life. Joke about injecting hormones and becoming a degen tranny while seething. Goes home. Thinks it's time to take my girlfriend's search seriously. Up its bumble. Swipes. She's cute social justice warrior 19 year old girl with gender nonsense and BLM in her profile. Keck. Maybe trolling while I look isn't so bad. Swipes right. Match. She messaged me instantly. I pull out my 4chan normie trope by talking about Star Wars. I tease her. She responds by making fun of herself. Oh no. She has a sense of humor. I reached a mid at the park in two. Social distancing day days. Wow. She looks nicer, IRL. We play frisbee at the park. What is some food? More Star Wars and Marvel LARP. She shows me a cringy cosplay. I tease her. She laughs at herself. But I like her a lot. I stop believing in 4chan social dynamics. I stop believing in conspiracy theories. I like Biden. I slowly accept progressivism. What is happening to me? I'm becoming an NPC. I like it. Orange Monkey. Play Red Dead Redemption with autistic 8 year old stepsister. All she did was walk around, skinning animals and giggling. My first one she killed the prostitute and asked me why she couldn't skin her. Be me. Computer science class. Online cause shit country life. Have to share screen and write code. My turn arrives. Open up Arca Linux virtual machine. Open full screen terminal with keyboard shortcut. Arca logo and ASCII art pops up to flex my entire fucking class. Type in meeting chat. I use Arc by the way. Change keyboard layout from terminal just to flex. Open up VIM as text editor. Sp speeding through time conundrum, 500 lines of code per second. Everyone bussing up bigger than Uranus. My face swam. First time in gym. My very first exercise is a bench. Next to me are some zoomers and wiggers. They snicker and say to themselves, This dude looks like he sits behind a computer 24 7. I'm about to cry. Make up some bullshit like I'm thirsty and go to the toilet so I can pack up and leave. Some dude stumps me and say if I can use the bench. It's motherfucking Chad, just like from the memes. Say yeah. Ask if I will spawn him. Uh, okay. We start to talk. You notice I'm my first time in gym. He teaches me lifts, we talk for an hour, and for this whole hour, I feel like I'm safe and protected. My first on this chat says, See you tomorrow, okay? I have leg day, and I will teach you deadlifts. Is this how chads are? Is this how it feels to die for a king? It felt like a dream, but it was all real. My king. My leash. We will make it. Wake up. Check internet. China still exists. Day ruined. Got a couple of questions. Be me, age 26, living with parents still. Really want a body pillow of Aya Ashina from Danganronpa. I'm not gonna look up the proper pronunciation. Parents don't know that I'm that much of a degenerate, let alone that I like anime and visual novels. Decided to just order it online and hide it under my bed while I'm not sleeping. My parents never come into my room anyway, so it should be fine. A couple of days later, yesterday, I go to sleep as usual with it. 
It's caked in my dried cum, but I don't mind anyway. Don't think parents have suspected a thing. Wake up, because I felt something touching me. I'm in total darkness. I hear my parents' voices start singing happy birthday to me. What? Realize it's my birthday. Suddenly the lights go on, and my semen drenched body peel of scantily clad brown cartoon woman is in view of my parents. They keep going for like five secs afterwards. And then as my mom notices it and stops, my dad follows suit. Meals since yesterday have been eaten in complete silence. A. What do I do now to consolidate with my parents? B. How do I enjoy body pillows with such a limitation? Be friends with hot cutie pie. Want more, but got friends owned. Your BF is a jacked alpha dude. He would kill me if I fucked around with his GF. Lonely summer day. Chilling at her place like we used to. This time with alcohol. Starts talking about sex life. We get horny. I start rubbing the back, and then the thighs. Literally diamonds. Start advancing, knowing I'll get rejected. To my surprise, I get a handjob. I grow confidence. We end up fucking like animals or not. He says we shouldn't let her know about this. We five like bros, and then laughed about- Wait. Be me. Wait for it at shit Italian place. Start doing indoor dining, even though we don't meet minimum size requirement. Four days in, boss emails us about COVID. A Patreon on day one tested positive today. Contract traced back to us. Restaurant has to close, staff has to be tested. Nice, no work. Go to clinic in my town. Three days later, I got the results. Positive, no symptoms, so who cares? Fast forward one week. Found out that I could donate my blood or some shit for a vaccine. They pay like 20 bucks, easy. Have to isolate for another couple days anyway. Go back to clinic after. They take my blood. My blood is gonna be in someone else. My blood is gonna be inside a woman. I'm gonna be inside a woman. See you later, virgins. Be cop. Patrolling, doing cop things. See a guy driving like 15 miles below the speed limit. Swerving around like a motherfucker. Can see lots of smoke coming out from his windows. I see him, he's blazing it. Pull him over. Walk up to his window, and he rolls it down. He's got a fucking hot plate plugged into his cigarette lighter. Motherfucker is making pancakes while driving and burn them. Be me. Smoke some of that giggle bush. Super high. Don't realize that smoke has drifted under the door of the apartment. Neighbors call police. What the hell? Police knock. I open the door. Hello, sir. Receive the recall about your smoking cannabis. I can smell it already, so just come with me and I'm... Mind races. No, officer. This is a magic bag of weed. He steps in. Asks. Now, how the fuck is that? Start explaining. Officer, when I try and get rid of it, it just reappears in my pocket. I'll prove it. He gets the face. Pick related. Bring him to bathroom. Watch. Throw a bag in the toilet. Flush. Then do nothing. He looks around confused. Bro, the drugs are on. My face and it worked. What drugs? Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to Mr. Green and check out all of his social medias down below. My name Gora.